From the back blocks of Belgium to the stately streets of Versailles, Tony's vertigo is putting heads in the spin. Philip Strafe was a top Formula One driver until an accident in 1989 left him a quadriplegic. But thanks to Tony Gillet, he's still able to pilot this midnight blue machine through his salubrious suburb. Sitting in Philippe's car is actually more like sitting in an arcade game because everything is controlled with this ergonomically designed joystick. Now, if I push this button here, that starts the hydraulic system. This button is the ignition. Then you can see that it's simply a matter of push forward to accelerate, pull back to brake, turn left, and turn right. Although that sounds simple, I would imagine that once you're on the road, it could be a little difficult. But Philippe has actually notched up 235 kilometers an hour using this system. With his hand strapped to the joystick, Philippe is back where he belongs, in the driver's seat, his dream alive again. It's a real pleasure for me to, to drive again, even if it's with my joystick, with un, without steering wheel and pedals, but it's a real pleasure for me to, to drive again in such a car.